everybody, welcome back to the Underground Lair. Guess what? I finally got a guitar in here. It's been bass, 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 bass. October, November, all basses. Now, today, we have an EVH Wolfgang Special in, oh, awesome purple. Love it. So a couple issues, it's set up like butt. The neck is bowed, trying to bring it up to tune and it's pulling the whale tail up off the body. This is not, this is not supposed to be a floating bridge. Basswood body, maple top. That's the way Eddie designed it. And the first thing I do is I go through all the little screws Make sure everything is snug. They're pretty snug. Let's access our Springs, plastic bits are still on the back here. Calling Dr. Suction Pig, Dr. Suction Pig, Dr. Suction Pig. And that's how you do it. Okay, so it's got two, two springs on it. Yes. So those will need to go in a little bit. So I'm going to detune. I'm not going to detune it. I'm going to detune. And I think the neck has uh, not liked the climate change. So let me go ahead and tighten these screws in a little bit. We're going to go ahead and put a block in there right now, but let's see where our string height is. Um, uh, wrong with you, Fred. Okay, we're at five, six, seven, seven and a half, almost eight, and eight. So this side is higher than this side. So I'm going to take the tension off, raise this up because whenever we go to pull this down flat, the front end is buried. So we're going to raise that up and see where we're at. This may need a shim, I'm not sure. But we're going to get it as close as we can with the strings we got. Okay, boys and girls, we're still dealing with the old strings and it does not look like we're going to need a shim. Um, I'm going to have to let this sit overnight because I put over a turn into the truss rod to get it to straighten out. So it may continue to push the wood and I may have to come back and readjust it to relax it. But right now, using a 10th out, 7th fret, just sneaking under there. Okay, boys and girls, we have our Wolfgang set up with the uh, nines and I uh, had indeed uh, did have to back off the truss rod just a little bit. Uh, we have our bridge uh, flat to the body. We have our block holding the, uh, the trim block. All right. And we should still be right. Four sixty fours. All right, and ah, good. I I adjusted the uh, the low E and the G. 
because we found those to be sharp, right? Okay, the intonation is good right now. We are going to put it on stand, come back tomorrow, and check the rest away. So we're down here in the underground lair with the Wolfgang Special from yesterday. Just brought it up to tune and also made sure that the bridge was all the way down because it was it lifted a little bit. Uh, we went to 17th and 10,000 at the 7th. Tidy whitey. Okay. Our string height is right where we left it. 4,000 or 464s. All right. The next thing we have to do is re remember we had a problem with the toggle switch. Let's fix that. Maybe down, make sure there's no, no sharp parts. Get my number one screwdriver. That's not a screwdriver. That's a screwdriver. We'll take this control cover off. I have a feeling it's just going to need some contact cleaner in here. If worst comes to absolute worst, I have you go over there. Um, I have switchcraft switches. All right, so suction pig. There we go. There you are. All right, so. probably going to come out the top. Let's plug it into the noisemaker and see if that solves our problem. Sounds like it should sound, right? Okay. Okay, so detuna. You want to tune this without your lockers here. We're going to use the standard tuners up here, or not the fine tuners. The E fine tuner is going to be backed out a little bit. But anyhow, we have our D pretty much in tune. There we go. Okay, now you push the detuner in place, detuna in place, and you should have an E. If you don't have an E like I have right now, there's a little set screw here, and it's a it's a 1.5 metric that you put in here to tune the E. right there everything else is pretty much where we left it helps if you fret over or do a harmonic over the right fret So it is a little bit flat. So we're going to tighten this. 
Uh, it is. I could say we're pretty much done here. Now all we have to do is put our lockers back on and call it done. Ain't that pretty? That is a beautiful purple Wolfgang Special. I'm going to clean my fingerprints up, fix this bridge, or the, not the bridge, the uh, strap button, and call it a day. Alright, welcome back for the last part of this video. How in the heck do you fix a stripped out strap button hole? Well, you take a small piece of dowel and you make it a little bit smaller than the hole and you get some real wood glue and you insert that into the hole Now wood, wood glue is water soluble. And then we're going to use this little wrenchy poo to make sure it's all the way in there. Okay. And we're going to let it cure uh, probably for about an hour. Get a paper towel here. get my magical portion of several parts of H and a part of O clean that area up and we're going to let it sit for about an hour then we're going to screw the existing strap button back into the hole. So I can't do that until it sits. I want to point out the um, the lock or the block that I use from for the uh, back here to block that uh, trim block is from a company called Skyscraper Guitars. They come in, you buy a set and they are pretty much fit every guitar you have. And uh, that's how you keep everything stable when you're doing all your intonation and everything. It basically makes the bridge a fixed bridge while you're working on it. What did we do? We cleaned it up quite a bit. We polished the frets using mic, um, micro uh, micro mesh. Yeah, I'm gonna say microfiber. That's not the right thing. Micro mesh. Uh, started at 1500. Took it all the way up to 6000. And these things just feel like mirrors. Bending is uh, you don't feel the, the crunch that you felt before whenever you went to bend a string So that's good. We lubed the two posts We fixed the um, pickup selector so there's no noise and while I'm here and I have this stuff out You might as well fix any possible problem you might have with the output jack and tighten it up. <laughs> I have, in case you're wondering, I have a both a metric and imperial crescent wrench. Make sure that's tight.
This is called a crackle killer. You never put it in and turn it. You put it in, take it out, turn it, and repeat with some contact cleaner. But everything's locked down. The bridge is flat to the body like it should be. We have 4, 000, or 464 set to 17th. We have 10 thousandths of relief. We're good to go. The detuna is in tune. And uh, yeah, buddy's going to stop by tomorrow about 10 o'clock in the morning and pick this up and take it back to Harrisburg. If you like what you see here, please like and subscribe. If you do me a favor, I certainly would appreciate it. I'm trying to get to 2,000 subscribers. So, anyhow, have a good rest of your weekend. Peace. Good to you old folks. Love your neighbor like you love yourself. Have a good night.